In 1985, the Coca-Cola company released the new Coca-Cola formula. They had blind taste tested it against the old Coca-Cola formula, against Pepsi, and it kept beating it in all those taste tests. They even went to their customers and said, if we sold this, would you buy it? To an overwhelming positive response. So in April, they launched the product and they took the old formulas off the shelf. But within a couple weeks, they had huge backlash and they were left scratching their heads trying to understand what went wrong. And it all comes down to a simple question. See, they asked, would you buy it if we sold it? But they didn't ask, would you buy it if we no longer sold the original formula? This is one of the problems that companies face when they're doing engagement surveys. You only get the answer to the questions you ask. And sometimes it's the follow-up questions, the questions not asked, that give you the greatest insight. Companies often rely on an engagement survey that's done once a year, where they get results several months later, and the results are based on specific questions asked, and they look at that as a sign of their culture, when in reality, that's a really poor indication of your culture. The best ways to understand are to not only ask those questions, but to ask the ones that aren't included on the survey. To expect leaders to go into the organization and listen at regular intervals, and be expected to report back on what they hear. It's listening through a variety of methods, not just engagement surveys, but through roundtables, through conversations, looking at other data that's gonna give you a true metric of your culture. The best way to understand is not just rely on engagement surveys, but to go listen and ask questions and leave space for the follow-up for the questions not asked.